Hello. Today I will be talking to you about compensation and benefits. The article that our group chose was called Compensation in Healthcare Field on a Steady Rise, presented to you by Amber Kasky, Madeline Rice, me, Jordan McGrew, Adam Whitlock, and Caleb Miller. Next slide. So, what is it all about? Well, compensation is the set of rewards that organizations provide to individuals in return for their willingness to perform various jobs and tasks within the organization. Benefits, on the other hand, are the various rewards, incentives, and other items of value that an organization provides to its employees beyond wages, salaries, and other forms of financial compensation. For instance, at my job, I work at a restaurant, and we get basic compensation to come in, such as an hourly rate. But an hourly wage, but uh, we do get incentives to work past what we're guaranteed. So for instance, if we make the markers of selling the most appetizers or desserts for the month, we get, um, we get incentives because we get rewards like an iPad or maybe a gift card. And so therefore compensation and benefits keeps employees coming in and wanting to work hard. Next slide. So what are the basic purposes of compensation? There are more than one. Um, compensation has several fundamental purposes and objectives. First off, one of the first um, key parts of compensation is that the organization must provide appropriate and equitable rewards to its employees. That's kind of like the basis of compensation. Individuals who work for organizations want to feel valued and rewarded at a level that corresponds with the level of their skill and abilities. And second, it serves as an indication of what the organization feels is worthy to focus on. Compensation has many benefits, but for instance, there's a tier system at in the healthcare field. The most um, like high-rated surgeon is going to get paid a little bit more, obviously, than somebody that is just going to come in and take somebody's vitals. Um, so it, it sh that just shows that the company is going to compensate whoever they find to be more valuable to their team. Um, compensation also works to decrease absenteeism and turnover rate, which thus in the long run helps the company. And it also helps increase morale, which in turn increases motivation, which keeps employees coming in. And it's just a big cycle of all good things. Next slide. So within the article, we found three trends for compensation in the healthcare field. Healthcare field. The first one is called conservative trend, and it's one where the hospital industry is projected to have conservative salary increases. Salary increases will be anywhere from 2.4 to 2.5 percent. There was a quote that stated, while the health care field is thriving, there is always pressure to restrain costs. And I feel like that's pretty understood within so many, um, so many companies around um, in our generation right now. Everybody's trying to cut costs, but still give compensation and benefits to the highest ability to make everybody happy. But it's kind of hard when everybody wants so much money. Um, the second trend that we found is called differentiation. Hospitals are now differentiating people according to their performance. Hospitals plan to give 2.5% merit raises for their top performers. Even though they have found it difficult to differentiate individuals in certain positions within the industry, they have found ways to do so in acceptable format. And the third one we found was compensation at risk. That trend is where the executives and administrators in the hospital industry have always been paid according for their, to their performance. Now this is being applied to almost all levels within the industry. Everyone will need to step up their work ethic in order to be recognized and given a pay raise. Next slide. Um, but even if it's not regarding the healthcare or not in the healthcare Field, there are other non-healthcare related jobs. Um, the business related jobs in the healthcare industry are increasing in need and they have to offer competitive pay with other industries which causes a disparity in pay and compensation between healthcare workers and business workers in the healthcare, healthcare field. Hospitals need someone to handle their finances, focus on marketing to get more traffic and management to make sure that everything runs smoothly. So basically there are many components to 
health care other than being right in the hospital. And those people want to get paid or compensated as well. The IT department in hospitals is a growing job as well because of all the new technology hospitals are using. I don't know if you've been to the hospital lately, and hopefully you haven't, but everything is run electronically, even your sign-in sheets and your... Um, when they come and ask you questions, everything is on a tablet or a phone now even. Um, they make large investments in creating electronic records and to create and maintain those records, the correct personnel is needed. Uh, there are also analysts that are needed to analyze all the numbers and data that is being recorded so hospitals can make changes to, to best improve the patient and employee experience. So all those people want to get compensation, but where is all that money going to come from? Next slide. So from our article, the last thing that we want to present y'all with is the 2012-2013 um, the hospital salary and benefits report from Hospital and Health Care Compensation Service reported salaries for 179 hospital positions. The medical record administrator earns an average of $78,843, although pay can be up to $146,000. $307 in the 75th percentile, the survey found, um, that on an average, it it increases, and it's way more than, um, way more than what they think, oh, pause, pardon me, 